if it's a white fridge in somewhere that's not our kitchen, it has to be full of drinks. <laughs> See, you need a vitamin, I think. Wine. Holy cremole. You fill me up, fill me up, but I got, don't break my heart. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's either mom singing, Katie singing, or dad yelling. That is our morning routine. So, so the first thing I do when I get up in the morning, I'm usually the first one up, is I turn on my coffee. There's the coffee getting ready to go. And I usually turn up the heat also because to turn the heat down overnight, it's like it's 56 degrees, that's a little cool. So I'll turn up the heat a little bit so when the kids get up, they're not freezing. And uh, usually I'll have a cup of coffee and check out the morning news and maybe let the cats out and then uh, we'll start our day. Hey, there's Brennan, there's Chris. What are you guys up to? Nux. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, for the camera. Uh -huh. We're gonna work. Saturday, we're gonna go lay some, lay some salt. salt and stuff. Make sure people don't slip and fall and hurt themselves. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's Good. very nice. Can you make some money? Yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent. Of course. Excellent. Yeah. Alright, good luck gentlemen. Thank you. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean it's cold outside, but we in the truck. As long as we're with the boys, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you got the truck. Yeah, Alright. A fat plow truck. Hey, are you are you fueling up? Yeah, I need a banana just before we go. We'll hey. probably get some McDonald's on the way or something. Alright. Alright guys. Yeah, thank you for be safe. Me. My pleasure. See you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is a Saturday morning, and I don't mind telling you, it's 1041, <laughs> and the kids are still asleep. Except for, I will say, Brennan. He already left for work. Brennan works, is, has been working. Like, the more it snows, the more it's working. His friend's dad has a plowing business or something, so he got up early today and left for work. So he's gone, but Brennan, or Katie and Ryan are still in bed. Mike has already had his morning coffee. Is that correct, Michael? I have. You have, okay. and now Mike is making me my morning coffee. That's what I do. It's 10.41, so I shouldn't laugh at them for being a bit, but I've been up since 9. I just haven't had my coffee yet. Sure. Yes, so let's just make that clear. <laughs> Not that it matters. I don't know. On the weekend, if you can sleep, sleep. That's sure. what I say, right? Right. Holy cow. So after I take my coffee, we take our vitamins. I didn't have one before I left. Oh, he did? Yes. Fantastic. That's good. Yeah, we have he our... a ritual for men. That's for him. Because he's 18, so he takes the ritual for men. And thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. I take the Ritual Essential for Women, and I wanted to show you what these look like, you guys. Look at, that's what mine looks like. And it's so gentle on the stomach. I, I know we eat pretty healthy around here. You guys see Katie making her smoothies and the boys making their food. But even if we try really, really hard to eat kale salads and drink green smoothies, we still may not be getting enough of some of the key ingredients that we need from our food alone. So Ritual is formulated with key nutrients, including vitamin D3 and omega-3 DHA to help fill the gaps in our diet. Sugars, GMO, synthetic fillers, and artificial color are all ingredients you might find in a typical multivitamin, but Ritual is not a typical multi. Ritual has a clean, vegan-friendly formula, and it's made with key nutrients that your body can actually use. There are no shady fillers or um, extra ingredients in it. You see that there? They are fresh tasting and delayed release. The, these capsules are designed to dissolve later in less sensitive areas of the stomach and can be taken with or without food, which is my saving grace. So Ritual is made traceable also, so you can know where your ingredients and your nutrients are coming from, thanks to their one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. So if you want it, like this is my essential for women, and we get it, our multivitamins are delivered to our door each month with free shipping, and um, we'd like you guys to try it. So if you don't love Ritual within your first month, you said they'll send a refund to you, and and if you do decide to order, use our code ritual.com backslash Donnelly's and you get 10% off of your first three months. And there's lots of different ones, like depending on who you are, right? So there's Essentials for Men, which Mike and Brennan both take. Then there's Essential for Teens, which Katie and Ryan take. Essential for Women, which is what I take. And then there's an Essential Gummies for Kids um, also. So thanks again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. And I will say that I have become a vitamin lover and a vitamin user ever since 
Um, they sent these guys to me and I've been trying them. So we hope that you guys enjoy them as well and be sure to use um, the coupon for, and it's actually down right here and in the description box below to get 10% off of your first three months. All right, so I'm really hoping that Ryan and Katie um, wake up soon. So Katie has decided to grace us with her presence at 1242, that's okay. But it's still a morning routine. This is our this is our weekend I morning was routine, sleepy. Kate. How did it go? How was your sleep? It was good. It was long. Did you wake up and roll over and go right back to sleep? That's my favorite thing. I love that. Don't you guys love that? So like you're sleeping and you wake up and you realize I don't need to wake up right now. Like I can still sleep and you roll over and you go back to sleep. Okay, like, oh, you're like my sidekick. You just agree with everything I say. I love it. I'm like your Edmund man. You're what? You're, you're, you're the Edward man to my Johnny Carson. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. I don't think I <laughs> he laughs at everything I say. <laughs> you don't think what, Kate? I don't know if I don't seem to understand that reference. Do you, do you? No. This is what Katie's breakfast is every morning. Would you say every morning? Oh, gosh. Okay. Yuck. <laughs> I would say at least like six times a week. I didn't eat breakfast yet either. Um, how long have you been awake? Um, since nine. Oh, and you haven't eaten breakfast? No. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Dad and I have been busy. We're just, like, cleaning up the house, and I think we're going to go get another refrigerator. Not for there. For okay. downstairs. I know. For where? For in, in the laundry room. Isn't that nice? I know. Yeah. Katie is always, she's always wanted a second refrigerator. I think you can. Everyone has one, and we don't. It makes me feel like I'm left out. Can we get one of the white ones? White? Yeah. What, like white, white, like what? Everyone has an extra white refrigerator in their, in in their, their garage. garage. And we don't have a garage or an extra white refrigerator. So we can <laughs> white. So what if we get a silver one? And they're also not as expensive. What if we get a silver one? No, it has to be white. I think the reason they... not give off the same vibe. The reason they have the white ones is because it was their old refrigerator. They moved out of their kitchen into the... Yeah, they didn't buy a new white refrigerator. They did? Why'd they make it white? Because it goes with the vibe. Of the of the uh, garage? The garage and the place where you hold the drinks. All right, you guys. Do you have Eleanor a separate has... white refrigerator in your garage? Eleanor has two in her garage. Eleanor's lucky. Holy cow. Yeah. All right, we don't have any. So we're going to go get one. <laughs> and we're going to put it in our laundry room downstairs. Dad and I. Oh, I... You said if we're gonna put it in our laundry room downstairs, and I don't know why, I just was like thinking that it was like just gonna be you and Dad's refrigerator, and I got really offended for a second. No, you're allowed to. You're allowed to put stuff in it or right get now. stuff from it. Oh. It really is just. Uh, yeah. Just can our we, refrigerator. Can we, get, can we get drinks like everyone else has? <laughs> the Denisons always have drinks in there. Can you imagine what their refrigerator would look like? <laughs> Katie and Ryan and Brennan. That would be hysterical. Mine, it, first no, of all, it would be disgusting. Mine, okay, let me tell you what I would put in our white refrigerator. Okay. I would start with a bunch of kombuchas. Okay. And I'd have like my own, can I have my, I'll have my own section. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And it's definitely going to have some kombucha in it. Um, besides that, I would just have like bottled waters and, um, Maybe like green teas. Uh huh. And that's it. Okay. So do you really think when you're you're standing up here, you're thirsty, you're gonna go downstairs and get it? You would. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. And if I'm downstairs and I'm thirsty, I don't have to come up here. That's right. That's true. Dad, what would be in your refrigerator? <laughs> right. Uh, hostess cakes, cookies, and pie. <laughs> Some diet coke. Maybe a beer or two. <laughs> okay. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Maybe a steak. Dad, you can't. Okay. Get, All right, you that can't sounds pretty good. Chocolate chip cookies. It's a drink fridge, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> For you, it is, Kate. No. If it's a white fridge in somewhere that's not our kitchen, it has to be full of drinks. <laughs> What's next? We're going to get a hot tub and then a dog, and it will be like every other American family. No. What? Not everyone has a hot tub. Oh, but you said a lot of people have hot tubs. Yeah. Yeah. And they're happy people. <laughs> I know, that's exactly it. Too too bad we're not happy. Darn it. Wish if only we had a hot tub. If only we had a hot tub, we'd be happy people. All right, well, go ahead and make your um, shaky shake. 
Right away well, for Ryan. Do you want to watch me make it? Like, well, maybe, but I'm gonna make my eggs because I'm okay, really well, hungry. Okay, well, if you if you're watching me, I just put in some plain yogurt, um, plain Greek yogurt, and then I put in some pineapple, and then I put in some strawberries, and now I'm gonna put in some frozen spinach. What are you doing? I'm gonna make eggs. Okay. And um, so this is my frozen spinach in a bag, and I'm gonna put about this much spinach because. You, like, you can pack it with spinach and you won't even taste it. And it's also healthy for you, so you might as well put it in there, especially if you can't taste it. So then, that's all of the solids. And then I put in some cranberry juice. And sometimes, it's like gets a little sour with a bunch of cranberry juice and like, plus the pineapple and the strawberries. So, um, sometimes I like to cancel it out with a little bit of milk, which seems gross, but I promise you it's not. Like, it really just makes it less sour. And it also adds some calcium. Even though there's a lot of calcium in the yogurt, but it's still tasty. So I'm just going to do that, a little bit of that. And then we throw on the top, mix it up. And it's also really, like, filling. You know, shakes are really healthy for you. Yes, they are, Katie Elizabeth. Because um, they fill you up so you don't want to, like, eat anything fill else for me breakfast. Buttercup, baby, just to let me down. And the worst <laughs> of all. You never call, baby, when you say you will. But I love you still, I need you. I need you. More than anything, darling. You know that I have from the start. You fill me up, fill me up, buttercup. Don't break my heart. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, Katie made and, sh made and drank her shake. Done. Done. Oh, okay, is that the sign? You can teach us a new sign today. Oh, this is a sign for done or finished. I love it. Okay, can I try it? Mike, Actually, can you try let me, it? Let me teach you one of the vocabulary words we're learning. Okay. <laughs> so it's like... Will you do me a favor and shut that cabinet? It kind of drives me nuts. Thank you, sweetheart. The sign that you're learning. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we're learning things about like... Dad's cleaning the sink. <laughs> they're like life signs. Okay. You know? So uh -huh. like... This is a, well, I don't know. This isn't really interesting. Oh. Well, done was good. That's something that people would use a lot. Finished. How do you say? Oh, okay. So this is a sign for, okay, well, uh, uh, I'll say this anyway. <laughs> this is a sign for vacation. Okay. Like this. Okay. And then the sign for retired is like the same, except your fingers are in like R's. So show me that. Retirement. Oh, okay. Like, you know, I mean, R, vacation. Like, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this is vacation. Oh, can I try it? Retired. Yeah. Okay, ready? And so, vacation. Like, yeah, but your elbows don't have to be up like that. <laughs> vacation. Yeah. Retired. Uh, uh, no. Uh, yeah. T t tuck your fingers oh. and yeah. Reti retired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would like to go on vacation, and then I would like to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Thank you. Um. I wish for everyone knew sign language. Actually, no. I wish that my close friends knew sign language so that we could, like, talk to each other and no one would know what we're saying. Like a secret code? Like a secret sign language? Yeah, society. except... Low-key, I, like, I like, like... Also, you're not supposed to, like... You're not supposed to, like, watch people's sign yeah, it's conversations because like, that's, like, like, straight up, like... Um, listening in. It's, um, yeah. eavesdropping. It's, yeah, eavesdropping. Yeah. But, because Mom always like, what are they saying? What are they saying? And I'm like, Bay, that's not appropriate. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think it's, uh, eavesdropping. It's eavesdropping. It's like the eaves, like you drop a book, like by an eave, like you're eavesdropping. That's we, we eavesdropping. know that. Are you, yeah. are you telling are you yourself telling that? Us or you just, <laughs> just realized telling that. us that. Yeah. You, know like <laughs> you have a little kangaroo pocket going there, Mike. <laughs> All right, you guys, should we wake up, Ryan? Our morning routine is turning into an afternoon routine. Ryan! Ryan, we've waited long enough. Yeah! It's 1.22. It is no longer morning. Look, look at our new bathroom. Dad did a great job on this. Mike, I mean. I don't need to call him Dad. I'm left over from when I was referring to him with the kids. Totally new bathroom. Loving it. Hey! Stop. 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 Stop.
breakfast well now it's 119 so it's lunch time Lunchtime. okay <laughs> will you put a shirt on there right guy no thank you you gonna clean out the fridge mike are you eating an old waffle he tried to try i took it out of the garbage oh my god he tried to throw it away <laughs> well, i mean it was probably burnt remember that one time it's not burnt oh my gosh tell that story this is so funny ryan one you'll time, remember this one time ryan's friend charlie you know charlie you guys we're having a birthday party he was like four at the bar. <laughs> and, you know, no one else wanted any cupcakes. They were, or they were all gone. Like, everybody had eaten their cupcakes, and we had extra left. She had extra left. And right. his mom didn't want to, like, keep them. So she tossed them in the trash. At the playground. The garbage, like, the garbage cans <laughs> at the community playground. Like, oh, like, disgust, like, yeah, like, always smells. Like, you have to hold your breath when you go to the water fountain because yeah. it's in the, like, <laughs> vicinity of the trash cans. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there are bugs. De crawling all there over. Were. There were not. Yes, they just no, were doing, oh, no, there no, were, no. There were ants on the outside of the box. So, da so Mike showed up to pick up Ryan, found out that the gar that the cupcakes were thrown away, and what did he do? He took them out of the garbage and ate them. <laughs> I cannot stand wasting food. It just drives me insane. <laughs> no, it's because you like cupcakes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so gross. And waffles. <laughs> and waffles, yes. Oh, my gosh. He'll throw away the vegetables, though. Yeah. No, he don't. No, ma'am. No. We eat those um, Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Yum. Mm-hmm. Leftovers. All right, Ryan. We're doing our morning routine. What do you normally do in the uh, weekend morning routine? What do you more, normally do when you wake up in the weekends? No idea. <laughs> no, but it's literally always different, actually. All right, how like, about today? Like, at school, I have, like, a sad thing, but... Right, this today, is the weekend. I mean, eat breakfast. <laughs> or lunch. Or lunch. I say usually we wake up around this time, so it's not different. But uh, eat breakfast and then start my day. I don't know. Huh? Yeah. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do today. Are you gonna take a I'll shower? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take a <laughs> All right. So basically, it's revolved around eating. Mike, does the cat? Did you let the cats out this morning? Who let the cats out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who let the cats out? <laughs> ooh. Normally, that's what we do in the morning. Let the kitties out. They. Come back in. I'm sorry. I'm not going <laughs> to skip past that. Like, I didn't just do it. <laughs> That's a good tip. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, you guys. That is our morning routine. I wonder when Brendan's going to come back. I wonder how his morning routine is going. Mm. Weekend morning routine. Dad, I love that you try to dance. <clears throat> I want to be a good dancer. I watch Justin Timberlake dance, and I'm like, I could do that. So is your, I so is your, this is his uh, go-to. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly like that, too. <laughs> yep, that's that, that's that. We even took dance lessons for our wedding, didn't no, we? Yeah, it wasn't very good. Didn't work. <laughs> didn't work out so well. Really? Uh, really? Yeah. That's so funny. We did. Like, how did, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the, what was it called? A foxtrot? Mm -hmm. Something like that? Yep. It's really not that hard. <laughs> it, well, it took a lot of lessons. It was like a square thing, right? Yeah, you had to go. No, but that's <laughs> the whole point is that you have to, your, your foot passes through the square. <laughs> so he just reverted. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is our morning weekend routine, and then we just ro like we roll into the afternoon, yeah, like we already have today. Me and, Dad, me and Dad watch some golf. Um, 
I might golf today. Actually, no, not today. It's snowing. But um, that's really it. We we just freestyle the weekends. We do freestyle Unless the we weekends. Have plans, but we yeah. rarely have plans on weekends. Right, but it's nice to sleep in on weekend mornings because oh, we don't absolutely. you don't really get to do that much uh, yeah. during the week. Well, so. No, yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this video and we hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned because we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Mike and I are going to go run some errands. You ready, Mike? Let's go. All right, let's do it. You guys, thanks again for watching. Comment below what your weekend mornings are like and what your favorite rituals are that you do on the weekend. Um, I would say my favorite ritual. What is your favorite ritual on the weekend? <clears throat> Just waking up and seeing, because usually on weekdays, you wake up, you come out here, you might see one person. Usually, you just have a whole, whole kitchen to yourself. But coming out and just, like, talking to people. Yeah. It's always fun. Yeah, I agree. Like, sort of gathering, the gathering space. How about you, Michael? What's your favorite weekend ritual? <laughs> uh, or weekend morning ritual? I like grabbing my cup of coffee and having that first sip of coffee in the morning. It's nice. That is nice. Okay. I think I have to say that my favorite weekend ritual is waking up and rolling over and going right back to bed if I don't need to get up. I love that. Katie Elizabeth. What is your favorite weekend morning ritual? Hmm. What do you like doing? What do you like about weekend morning? Sleeping. <laughs> Agreed. That's it. Understood. Are right, you guys Just sleeping? I totally. All right, guys. So comment below what your favorite weekend morning ritual is. Maybe you work on weekends. I'm not sure. Maybe you don't. Maybe you go to school on weekends. Maybe you don't. But just let us know. We'd love to hear it. So thanks so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.